Hey Libras, welcome to September. I have your reading here, Libras. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Put the notifications bell on below so you can get notified whenever I post the monthly tarot scope readings, okay? Let's just go ahead and get started. Libras, coming into the month of September, you're coming in with the death card. Libra, you're having some kind of transition, some kind of ego death, some type of transformation. Something is dying, okay? I mean, on one hand, I'm hearing love. On one hand, I'm hearing career. But as we know, this could pertain to anything. This is a general reading for all of the Libras who will potentially watch this video. So... Libra, for the month of September, something is dying. Something is going through a transition. I feel like you are a little bit worried. You are a little bit skeptical. You are definitely like a little bit fearful of the unknown. You're not knowing what to expect. And so it's kind of taking you aback. I feel like right now you're in the worried stage. Libra, we don't want to be worried. We want to relax. And we want to let things go. We want to let things die. We want to let them transition and transform into what it is really meant to be for us in our lives, right? We don't want to have something at its, um, I don't want to say it's like its lowest level, but we don't want to have something that is like not at its fullest potential. There we go. We don't want something that's not at its fullest potential because at the same time, we know what we are worth, Libras. We know how much worth we can have to offer to have to offer to whatever situation it is. May it be career or may it be your love, may it be your family, may it be um I don't know. This could be anything. This could be anything, but I feel like Libra is coming into the month with some resistance. Libra, we got to let it go. We got to let it go. We got to allow it to be what it's going to be, okay? Um, so also, after the death card, and, and just in case you guys don't know, death does not usually literally mean an actual physical death. It usually means some type of emotional death, some type of spiritual death some type of um just like a transformative process like something just not being what it was at all and ending up coming out on the other end being something completely different from what it previously was okay so you have that energy that you are somewhat resisting right now and then you move into the three of pentacles energy so this usually represents some type of apprentice, but this can also represent some type of community or teamwork, um, collaboration, um, artistry or like uh, carpentry, anything that's like a creative type of endeavor. As you can see, um, this person looks like he may be like the architect of the temple and um, I don't know, these people are coming to him with an offering. But we have the three pentacles here and the three usually represents the Holy Trinity and pentacles represent something physical, material, um, money, career, finances. So like I was saying about your career, something in your career is transforming. Something, this could even be with the things that you create at home. This doesn't have to be your actual work life out in the world this could be you know whatever you're creating at home um pottery i don't know i'm hearing pottery um this could also be like jewelry waist beads candles anything like that um something about it is transforming it's not going to be the same as it used to be you're going to be creating these things in a new way but also for those of you who do not currently have something that you do at home for those who are out in the world working somewhere um something in your work life is transforming so i would say maybe that you are about to go through a um i don't want to say a promotion i feel like maybe your job duties are going to be transforming um you're going to get new job duties or you're going to get a more refined list of what it is that you are supposed to be doing at the job. Maybe you could be getting a new manager. Um, you could be getting a new supervisor. Um, your company could be uh, selling to someone and 
you know there could be new uh management company taking over your place of work something of that sort this can also be for libras that are going to school school is going to be completely different for you this year you are learning something new maybe you started a new major maybe you are trying online classes this year or maybe you are just going to a new school period you are starting new classes something that you've never done before i'm seeing massage therapy i'm seeing um esthetician i'm seeing cosmetologist i'm seeing um Woo, um, any kind of trade. This could be anything. This could be anything. It doesn't have to be a trade. Any type of school, any type of um, just learning something new. Um, you could be meeting a new mentor who is teaching you something new. Anything of that sort. Whatever it is, you have expansion coming in with this business, with this school year, with this new um, duties at work you have expansion you have ships coming in the three of wands represents ships coming in he's looking over the horizon and he's waiting um maybe he sent some travelers on a voyage um to find you know find gold find silver come back with good news come back with any news at all and you know return immediately and let me know what's going on over there so i can you know, we can use those resources, bring them here and use them to our benefit. So something is coming in, some kind of information, some kind of resources is coming in from this job, from this person, from this mentor, from this school that is going to help you and benefit you to the position that you are currently in, Libra, okay? So allow this thing to transform. You know, you want to offer as least resistance as possible, so that you can really make the best of this opportunity and get everything that you can out of it. You can really network. You can really um, reach a new social height as far as the way that you socialize and interact with others, okay? Um, then you have the full, okay? This is zero point, okay? I feel like this can be, um, the full can represent a lot of things. He can represent um, infinite possibilities, having a blank canvas and being able to start anywhere, um, start something anew. Um, he can also represent um, foolishly jumping into something without having all of the information and just being very naive and like, oh, I'm going to do this now or whatever. So in this instance, I would say this represents, the fool represents... Um, infinite possibilities libra there's infinite possibilities with what it is so if you are not already going to school or you're you haven't yet found this new job or you haven't yet started this at home career um this entrepreneurship type of um quest then you are about to and that's that's what's happening and you're thinking about it you're like what is it that i can do to expand my horizons right now because i need to experience something new you have infinite possibilities you have so many options of things that you can do you just have to really um tune in and figure it out figure out what it is that you are actually trying to accomplish by making a move because you know pointless action is like the easiest way to disperse your energy and just waste it and so that's not what we're doing it's 2019 about to be 2020 we're not doing that anymore we're not like carelessly giving away our energy libras so you definitely need to figure out what's your end game what's your goal where are you trying to get to what's the end point for what you're trying to do okay you know, and I feel like as soon as you figure that out, stuff starts to move very rapidly and in a quick motion, communication start coming in, ideas start coming in. Um, this is the Eight of Wands. This represents rapid action, forward movement, progression, um, good news coming in quick and coming in fast. Um, maybe you uh, are getting messages that your full tuition is going to be paid for. Maybe you're getting information that... Um, you know, maybe it's a specific class that you want to be in and you're finding out, yes, you're going to be placed in this class because you are a high achiever and you do things very well. So we want to place you here because we think you can succeed in the best way over here. 
Um, this could be at work as far as like, oh, you know what? Since man new management has stepped in, they've decided that they are changing the duties of everyone and you're actually getting a promotion. You're getting a pay raise because they figured out the duties that you are doing are actually not even in your job description. And so instead of um, taking those duties away from you since you're already doing them, they want to give you a pay raise so that you can hang on to those duties and get your money's worth for all of the effort that you're putting forth at work, okay? So it's that type of energy, all types of communications coming in. This could be in the social realm. This could be um, communication from friends. Um, communication from and I did say this could maybe be about love I'm not really feeling love from this reading but for some of you it will be for love um, you have a, 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 a love interest who is definitely saying that they want to move forward with you and um, not that they want to take you seriously. I mean, I don't feel like Lib Libras are looking for that right now anyway. They're looking for something a little bit more playful, a little bit more fun, a little bit more casual. And so I feel like, yeah, you're gonna, you, this person is gonna be like, you know, and this is, I think, I feel like Libras like, like, let's keep it casual, but still, like, you belong to me. But still, we casual. Don't be like, don't be doing all that, okay? But still, you belong to me, okay? So it's that type of energy. Whoever you are interested in, they're like, okay, we could do that. We could do that. We could do that. It's giving that. It's giving all of that, okay? I'm yours, but I'm not going to put too much pressure on you. Let's just have fun with it, okay? So it's that type of energy that you're moving into, okay? With the Eight of Wands. And then you're ending off the month with the Ten of Pentacles. Tens represent completion, endings, things coming full circle. Um, and then Pentacles represents anything material, financial, your job, your work. Like I said, I feel like this is a career reading. This is a finance reading. This is an entrepreneur reading. So you have some Pentacles coming in at the end of the month. Um, this also can represent fulfillment. So when it comes to your finances, you're being fulfilled in such a way where you're just feeling very um, content and things are coming full circle. You're like, okay, now I see why I previously did all of that hard work. Okay, now I see why I previously did whatever it was before I decided to go to school because now I'm going to school at this time and it's actually flowing well with my schedule. I actually have a babysitter or I actually have a cat sitter. I have enough money to hire a dog walker while I'm away at school. Um, you know, and actually that scholarship was not available when I previously wanted to go to school, but now it's available. And so now this is all making complete sense. Everything is coming full circle. I understand why things unfolded the way that they did. And you are just feeling really happy about that, really um, accomplished because you're finally getting some things done when it comes to your apprenticeship or your um, internship or your school, your work, your understanding, and you're feeling really happy about the way things are unfolding, okay? So for your angel oracle card Libras, you got crystal clear intentions. Archangel Michael says, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. So this is like what I said before, figure out what is your intention? What's your end game? What's your goal? Like you need to get really clear with this. Like you need to get like so specific with yourself. You need to sit down. You need to open a notebook. And you need to write it down. Write it down. What is it that you're trying to accomplish? This, this, and this. And then maybe even have the reasons why you need to accomplish that. What are you looking forward to achieving throughout these endeavors? You don't want to waste any energy. And the best way to do that is to get specific with yourself and um, be in very high be in very high intention at all times. Set your intentions very strongly, powerfully, with lots of boundaries and pursue it with passion. So if you need to write down like, you know, if anything, I wanna get this information, this information, this information. And while I'm here, I wanna be able to make sure that I meet these people that can help me with this, or I want to make sure that I establish this kind of relationship with this supervisor so that they know that they can expect this from me and I should also be able to expect this from them. Um, let's just, and then whatever it is, 
you stick to it and you focus on it. You put your nose to the concrete, to the grindstone, and you grind it out until you get that end goal, until you get that end game, until you reach it, okay? And do not waver, do not fold, never fold, okay? And get it done, okay? But all in all, Libra, you got some new, like new perspective energy coming in. You're learning this month. You're learning or you're getting in position to learn some new stuff, Libra. So um, that was your September reading, your September tarot scope. Please make sure that if you don't already to follow me on Instagram at Magic Mermaid. Also make sure to like, share and subscribe to my videos. Um, and then book your personal reading with me on Instagram if you liked this reading. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next month in October.